Hey guys, this is Yuji from Osakana in Brooklyn. Thank you for watching my Osakana fish school YouTube channel. Today's topic is about how to marinate fish with miso. Miso marinade is a great technique to learn. It is because uh, miso marinade is a way to add extra flavor to the fish and also it's a way to preserve the fish. So let's start. Miso. So you go to uh, Japanese or Asian grocery stores and then you might see a massive selection of the uh, miso and you could be overwhelmed. I'm gonna just break it up in two different kinds of miso. In general, you have white miso and then you have uh, red miso. White miso is also known as shiro miso or saikyo miso. And shiro miso is in general a lot sweeter. On the other hand, aka miso is a little bit saltier and then a lot of times used in more in a miso soup. The ingredients I'd like to uh, share with you today for miso marinade is the first is white uh, miso, second one is uh, sake, and the third one is maple syrup. And the last one is lime. So first you're gonna put the white miso into a mixing bowl. What we are trying to do right now is we're gonna add the sake and the maple syrup and then we're gonna make this miso a little bit more pastier so that it's gonna be easier to marinate. Sake and maple syrup so you're gonna add about same amount of each like this you're gonna go you're gonna mix it evenly so it becomes more even paste so this is a good consistent loose miso paste lime Miso is going to be a little bit sweet, so I just want to add nice acid to cut the richness and then you're going to mix more. You can always use lemon, you can always use orange juice, you can be kind of creative with, of making your own paste. So, that's it. So after miso marinade is made, you're going to portion the fish and you're gonna salt cure it and you're gonna rest it in a paper towel for about half hour just like how I show you in a different episode important thing about salting fish in advance is that the water comes out of the fish and then miso will go back into the meat if you don't salt cure the fish and then the water is not out the miso won't marinate as much so let's make sure that you're gonna actually salt cure it and then rest it and then wrap it before you marinate it Now fish is uh, cured, rested, and then dry, and ready for miso marinade. And let's make sure that uh, you also gonna have a um, ziplock. Let's make sure that the, uh, all over the skin of fish, skin, meat are evenly marinated, like this. And then this is the right texture of the miso. If you're having a difficult time to make it like this, uh, you might want to add a little bit more uh, sake and then uh, maple syrup to make it a little bit more loose. And you're gonna put in a Ziploc. So this is what it should look like after it's marinated and then they kept in a Ziploc bag. Uh, so you wanna always make sure that the miso are all around 
uh, and then also there should be no air as much as possible in a ziplock. So it actually marinates much, much better. You want to marinate for at least overnight so that the flavor will go in even more and it tastes better. Let's cook this. The way I'm gonna cook for this meso marinated salmon is gonna be kushiyaki. Like this. For 7 to 10 minutes. This is perfect. It came out nice. You're gonna see a lot of golden brown colors. That's from the miso. Like this. So my favorite way of eating uh, miso marinated fish is with the lime. So you might wanna just squeeze the lime a little bit more. Cuts nice. Fattiness. and then this is gonna be a, your dinner tonight. So let's summarize this episode. Uh, you're gonna get a white miso, and you're gonna get a sake, maple syrup. If you have mirin, you can always substitute maple syrup with mirin, but mirin is not easy to get for some people, so I substitute mirin with this maple syrup today. And I personally like the maple syrup taste better than the mirin. And then some kind of citrus, like lime or lemon. And then you salt cure it, dry the fish, and then you marinate it, zip lock it. You wanna marinate it for one or two days. That's my episode six of Osaka Fish School, miso marinade. And then uh, I'm waiting for your more questions and suggestions for other topics for new episodes. Please send me email to osakanabk at gmail.com, Osakana Fish School. Uh, my name is Yuji Haraguchi, uh, owner of Osakana in Brooklyn. Thank you so much.